Hello, hi, I'm Luke from Centio. I'm Andrew uh, from the Centio team as well. And uh, so what do you do? Uh, Luke's our Director of Revenue. I'm the uh, co-founder and CEO. So uh, right here you have the super book and uh, this is a lab dock, right? Yeah, so we call this the universal laptop shell. Uh, connects into the majority of Android devices and transforms your Android smartphone into a full laptop. So there's a Samsung? Yep, just a regular Galaxy S6 bought from T-Mobile. And uh, what, what's going on? How does it work? So yeah, so basically what we do is uh, we run our app software on the device, uh, gives your Android a uh, desktop interface, and then what we do is we use display link technology to put the phone's screen onto the Superbook device, and then you can also use the trackpad uh, and keyboard. Right there so we can, uh, yeah. we can try out the UI a little bit. Yeah. Yep. So within Senio, what we do is we provide a desktop environment. So the you know the start menu, all Whoa. of the oh should I go yeah let's try again the start menu. So we provide uh, the start menu. So things like accessing your applications, accessing uh, our own applications as well. Again, Did you say Centium, isn't it Andromium? So Senio is the new company name. We actually rebranded a couple months ago, mostly because people were spelling Andromium not right all the time. Yeah. So Centium. Centio. How do you start the S or C? S, S, S-E-N, right here. Centio, Centio right there. S-E-N-T-I-O. But besides making the start menu, we also provide a few additional features, the navigation center, a browser, a file manager, and then the ability to actually do a multi-window interface. And this is something that's pretty unique to us, being able to open not only our own Android applications, but also other Android applications as well within our framework. But this is just an Android phone. This, you didn't change the firmware here. We didn't change the it's firmware. App. It's just an app. Yeah. It's just an app, and also we, yeah. uh, we, we. Oh, it's, it's, a, yeah. it's just an app, and, uh, and we uh, you, you know use display links technology in order to put the uh, the screen on the uh, the superbook. Again, so, with the multi-window environment and the trackpad and the keyboard, this is pretty much the full laptop experience. Can you show more of the UI? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, is it work in progress? This is the software is still a little bit work in progress. We are obviously, you know, doing some work to make sure that the experience is good. Being able to, you know, already being able to browse the internet and, uh, you know, read your email from here is pretty powerful. We also can allow you to do things like, you know, taking something like Microsoft Word and kind of opens up for you. So what's the minimum requirement to get a nice experience? So we ask users to have a phone with uh, at least Android 5.0, two gigabytes of RAM, um, and then uh, USB OTG compatibility. You can have as low as one and a half gigabytes of RAM. Obviously, the more powerful your phone is, the better. And uh, how many phones have OTG? Uh, a surprising Most amount of them. of them. A lot of them do. Most of them, yeah. Right? Every modern phone that's coming out here has USB OTG, and we've tested it on probably the top 25 or 30 phones. All the phones have uh, perfect support for this. Can we can we look on the side a little bit? Yeah. So is this a uh, uh, work in progress? How soon is it? This is it? so. Finalized. This is the. This is still the pre-production prototype. Obviously, as you can see, a little bit more work to do in the finish. So Type C and the normal C. USB. That's like a hub. You can connect anything there. Exactly. So this is a USB A hub. And so what you can do is you can plug in accessories, you can plug in an additional port so you can have more than one USB device plugged in. Um, so add additional storage, add the mouse, add you know, additional keyboard if you want. And then this is the design. Nice. Uh, so it's going to have a nice keyboard and mouse, right? That's exactly. the most important thing, right? And exactly. Good display. Yes. So is it so, full HD? So actually, this version that you see, the, the resolution is actually only the 768p. Yeah. Here, we'll plug it in. So this is 720 right now, but it's going to ship with? Uh, it's going to ship with both 768 and 1080p. So you can order uh, different models, and the 1080p version will also have a backlit key. And uh, to make this work, it's just uh, hot, hot connect, or how does it work? Uh, it works over USB, uh, you know, with, uh, with That's our, it, just connect? That's it. Just download connected. the app. Yeah. Install our app from the Play Store, connect it, and you're ready to go. Seamless. What, what did you do? Oh, yeah, the, that's the high end, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, so that's awesome. But, uh, so it's just, once you have the app, it's always ready to launch. Plug it in, and it's always ready to work? launch. Is it like a USB connect uh, trigger, or? Uh, yeah, yeah, so the, when the USB connects, it picks up that there's a display. Uh, our application launches automatically, and then the environment is ready to go for you to use. Again, it happens within seconds. And uh, how many apps are gonna work? Well, we'll see. 
this is something that, you know, of course we're developing right now. Hopefully when we launch, we'll be able to work with a large number of applications on your device. Hey, can we look at the browser? Can I see how it looks? Yeah. So yeah. this is, uh, actually you've been working on this for a number of years already, right? Well, we're actually making a, a couple of big improvements to the browser. Um, hold on, let me, one second. <laughs> So we're actually making a lot more improvements to the browser, including be able to do uh, more tabs and be able to do the multi-windowed browser as well. Is so it based have, on Chromium? This is based on Chromium, yeah. So it's the same performance you would get on the Chrome browser? You know, we hope and we're making a lot of modifications so that by the time it launches, it works really great in this environment. But it'd be great if it was as good as a Chrome browser on a Chromebook. Yes. That is true. It, it shouldn't be as good as just a Chrome browser and an Android. That's not as good, right? That's that's limited. Are you gonna potentially have stuff like extensions and stuff? Hopefully. And again, this is this is an area where you know we're doing a lot of the software work right now to make sure that the base experience is good. One of the benefits of being able to launch a product that has the operating system almost as an application is being able to uh, is being able to update the op uh, the software for the operating system all the time. And so we can actually just update over the air, and any software modifications that need to be made can happen right away. Can, can we look at the, what's over there in the corner? Sure. On the corner, actually, is my dwindling battery. But uh, you know, a, your access to your keyboard, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, your notification center, your battery, as well as being able to just go home. This is where our system trays, uh, our system tray lives. Um, we'll add additional features to it as we launch. Does it look nice when you click on Wi-Fi? Uh, nice? Right now, I think we just open up a standard Wi-Fi setting, right. but this will be its own prompt. It will be a little thing here, maybe. It'll either be a little thing here or a little thing here. It really depends on how our designers ultimately. But then, want to uh, take it. people have the app, it'll update. And and then that's it. Yes. You get a whole new experience every time you app updates. Yeah, we hope to we hope to be able to modify and operate uh, and uh, adjust the operating system um, pretty reg regularly. Did you call it originally? Did you launch as Andromium because you already there was it already announced that there was going to be Windows Continuum? Or did you name it Andromium before? Andromium the... was Andromium was named for Android Continuum, uh, which also runs into some let's say legal issues. Okay. Centio is the new company name, and it's also the new brand for the operating system. So Microsoft had already shown it at that point. It was yes. three years ago, right? Uh, two years ago. Two I years think ago uh, I think Microsoft had launched Continuum in 2014, and we launched it, uh, uh, you know, Andromium, a few months after. Android Continuum, that's the way. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, quick. Uh, Android Continuum, that's what I want to see, but uh, Centio is right there. Yeah. So you got lots and lots of uh, support, right? What's going on? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been great. I think, you know, with our original Kickstarter, we raised just a hair in the three million. Um, since then, we've had a lot of strong support from, I think, uh, both telecoms and also uh, some, some other large partners, which, you know, obviously we can't share. But uh, I think there's definitely some exciting stuff coming down the, the pipeline and would love to share that when we can. Usually a crowdfunding, a successful crowdfunding campaign gets the attention of lots of people. Yes. Right? And then yep. they, if they see that, then they want to have it. And hopefully you'll be all everywhere. You'll be lots of different places. I really hope so. I and really you're shipping? So. Uh, in June. You can pre-order on our website right now. Uh, we'll ship in June of this year. And uh, you can try it out hopefully in a couple months. 140. 140 US. Actually, if you pre-order right now, it's 120 on the website. $120 for which version? The for the for the base 768. Yeah. Where you see here? Where you see here? And how much for the full HD? Full HD right now, I think on the website is 179, 174, 179. And that's including a backlit keyboard as well. That's cool. All right, so that's awesome. And uh, this display link uh, is part of the solution, right? Display link is definitely part of the solution. So that means lots and lots and lots of phones are going to be working. Yes. Yep. It's one no of the need for have, No need to have MHL or slim port or exactly. any of these. Exactly. Yep. The benefit of display link is that we're able to do this with a large variety of phones. And it's feature proof. So if you get a new phone, it doesn't really matter if it has slim port or if it has any other standard. You can just get it to work as long as it's US, uh, USB OTG compatible. Cool.